Google Veil 3.1 is the latest update. Seriously, this update is so fire, guys. And this is a game changer to guarantee character consistency. Like a real gangster and a real G. It'd be me that you see cause I'm a prom queen. Seen continuity and much longer AI movies. If you're not using Google Flow, are you ready for the fire? Then you're missing out big time. And today we have an incredible prompt generator to give you. Now these prompt generators I'll share with you today, it's perfect for AI filmmaking because it's gonna give you that scene continuity from scene one all the way down to scene 10. And every single day when I'm driving by. Yummy, this is so good. Let's party! <laughs> it's basically designed for AI filmmaking. Flow is an AI filmmaking tool built with and for creatives. This specific tool is what is going to allow you to create scene extension after scene extension. Now, just for a very quick preview, I'll go back to my prompt generators database, specifically my AI video section. It's gonna allow you to create scene after scene to create a full length movie. And just to show you a very quick example, here is one right here. It starts off with a scene, specifically following like the Avengers style genre. And now as I scroll, I'm gonna get 10 full scenes that will maintain that consistency and scene continuity. We'll use these in a second. I also wanna show you this other prompt over here. This is gonna be an awesome montage style prompt for a blockbuster movie. And you can see it's actually called Movie Scene Montage. Now let me show you how easy this is to generate new scene after new scene. So we'll first start with this one. We'll open up chat GPT. And now here we are right here. Let's go ahead and paste this first one in. Now you can see this prompt is very specific where it says that it's gonna generate a sequence of follow-up scene prompts where it says each scene should feel like the next logical moment in a flowing cinematic narrative. All right, let's go ahead and submit this one. Please paste your first prompt at the opening scene that you already love. Once I have it, it will do the following. Now, what I always like to recommend is utilize a montage prompt for your opening scene. So now let's go ahead and paste in this first one and generate this. It's going to take that full montage prompt and then expand on it from scene one all the way down to scene six. And then if I wanted to, I could say continue from scene seven to 10. So what you would do in Google Flow is you would first generate the montage prompt. Then you would go ahead and enter in the scene two all the way to scene 10 if you want. And it's going to have that scene continuity. Now, the other prompt I want to give you now is going to be this one right here. Let's copy and paste this whole thing. Now, this one's going to be pretty easy to use. It's going to instantly give you 10 prompts, scenes that will ultimately create those full length, consistent movies. With that being copied, let's go back over into chat GPT, start a brand new chat again, and now paste this one in. You don't have to do anything else in the beginning besides answer the first question, which should be what is your specific subject. And now there it is. Drop the prompt and and I'll generate the next 10 scenes that flow shot the shop with the same style, cast, and vibe. What we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize this one that we're working on right now in the flow scene builder, okay? Basic prompt, a woman surfing in Hawaii, an orca whale swims next to her. So let's copy this right here because what we're gonna do next is come back over here in flow and generate those scene continuities one after another. So let's type that in, in the chat GPT based off of this prompt generator. A woman surfing in Hawaii, an orca whale swims next to her. And now just like that, we're gonna get those awesome prompts scene after scene to that way now have the proper prompt to give Google Flow to generate scene continuity and maintaining character consistency. Now, before it's gonna go ahead and do that, it is gonna ask us for a few more questions to really nail this down. So let's go ahead and do that. Answer the questions pertaining to what you want it to look like. We're gonna go ahead and say the orca is intimidating. Okay, just like that. Let's see what happens next. But while we're waiting on that, let's now come back over here into Flow and check out the first video we got.
Okay, perfect. Exactly what we were looking for. Okay, so now the next step, and this is where things really do take off. Over in the video, top left-hand corner, we're gonna have this button that's called Add to Scene. Go ahead and click that, because what this does now, it kind of regenerates a whole new editing studio right here. Now we have this full scene. Here is the first one I got. Now, click and drag it all the way to the end, and now what we can do is, if I select this plus button, we can do one of two things, jump to or extend. If I select jump to, it's going to act like a quick cut scene to where I could say like, woman now is driving in her car home, where it just quickly cuts. But if we now want to extend it, which in this case is what we're going to do, hit that extend button. And now down here in the prompt box, it says what should happen next. This happens and then this is gonna be the extended shot. Now, this is where these specific prompts are gonna come in, okay? There's the first scene one, but now let's look at scene two, where it's gonna be that rising tension. The woman steadies herself as the orca breaches near her board. All right, let's try it. Let's try this scene two. Back into flow, let's paste that in for our extended scene. Now, what we'll do after that is then generate the third one, and you just go on and on. Scene three is an underwater tracking shot. And then we get the scene four, the chase begins, a violent wave. The same process is followed time and time again. So after this second scene is generated, you would hit that plus button again to then generate that third scene. Either prompt that you want to use. Now, you don't have to use all 10. You could skip from like, instead of going three, you can just skip to five. Okay, now it looks like our second scene is generated. Let's hit that play button. There it is, perfect. Whoa, did you see that? Okay, now let's take a look at the final product. Whoa, did you see that? Are you ready for the fire? Ooh, amazing. It smells delicious, thank you. Don't worry, I'm a pro. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong restaurant, guys. <laughs> You could see, of course, it's not perfect quite yet. However, we could tell that this is definitely headed in the right direction. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think about Google Flow and VO3.1? And again, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car. Your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the mules. Channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips. Tons of prompts and